What's up guys, Epoxy here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install FOSE and how to run it through Steam or how to run it through your desktop shortcut or through your taskbar uh, shortcut. So this is going to be really easy. Uh, you, The only things that you're going to need is the actual FOSE files themselves and um, follow three obviously. And that's, that's about it. So I'm going to quickly show you guys how to do this. So down in the description below, I'm going to link this. This is to the uh, official fose.silverlock.org uh, website. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to download the latest stable version of FOSE, which is right here, right there. I've already downloaded it, so it is on my desktop. So as you guys can see, it will give you this RAR file uh, or the 7-zip file. Uh, if you don't have WinRAR already or any extract extraction um, or extracting program, I will leave a link to WinRAR down in the description below. So once you have a extracting program, basically what you want to do is you just want to right-click it and extract here or either open with and then with your extract extracting program. Sorry, that is just I, that word just does not go right in my brain. Uh, after you have extracted it, it's going to put this folder onto your desktop or wherever you extracted it to. And what you want to do is you just want to open up that folder. Now you want to put it to the right side of your screen, and then you want to go to your computer. You want to go to your Fallout 3 directory. So mine is in my local disk, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 3 Game of the Year. And as you can see, this is the Fallout 3 directory. So anytime I refer to the Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas or anything directory, it's just going to be as soon as you click onto the uh, actual game folder itself. So what you want to do is this actually really simple. You just want to select all these. So click and drag and select all of the files and just drag them over. Uh, once you've done that, you just want to double click the FOSE loader and click run. And then since I'm running in windowed mode, I'm going to quickly, I'm going to be showing you guys this in a later video, which is going to be quite fun, quite awesome. Um, I'm just going to quickly type in full screenizer, start that up, and then I'm going to run this as a full screen program. All right. So now that you're in follow 3, what you want to do is you want to press the console command button. It's usually the squiggly line. I'll show it on the screen. Um, so you want to press that, and then I'm actually going to turn down this audio right now so that it's not a bother. It shouldn't be a bother anyway, because I will most likely uh, have the uh, uh, most likely have two tracks in my editing software. So you want what you want to do is once you have the console command thing open, you want to type in get fose version. And you don't want any spaces, and just hit enter. And it'll pop up FOSE version, and then it'll just say 1, most likely. Uh, so that means that it did successfully install. We're just going to go ahead and click New Game. Um, actually, I'm not going to do that because I haven't even uh, fixed the freezing issue. But that is basically how you confirm that uh, the FOSE uh, is working. And that's basically how you install it. Now what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to load it through Steam. Uh, sorry about that, my phone just died. Um, or my phone just went off. Yeah, my phone died. Um, so how you do this is basically, say if I go like this, um, let's go. You can either go like this. You can go like this, rename, follow launcher, um, backup, and then you can right click the FOSE loader, rename, and go Fallout Launcher. And as you can see, when I go like this and go play, I'm just going to quickly show you guys the FOSE is working. Probably going to have to adjust my screen here, ain't I? Yes, I am. I'm going to have to do the full screen eyes again. Uh, so let's just quickly um, open up the full screen eyeser. Now for this to work, you guys don't need the full screenizer, it's just that uh, this is what I use. I have to keep my game windowed. Uh, so once you have that all set, um, once you have the file renamed, you want to open it up through Steam to make sure that this is working. And you want to open up the console again and type in get FOSE version. 
and hit enter and as you can see it does work so I'm gonna go ahead and quit the game again and show you guys how to make a uh, shortcut on your desktop for this basically what you can do is you can just right click it and go uh, create shortcut and then drag it here or another thing that you can do if you want the logo I'm pretty sure you can do this uh, don't hold me against it because I'm not 100% sure so I didn't test this beforehand create shortcut drag this onto the desktop right click properties and as you can see you can change the target so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the target to fallout launcher I'm gonna see if this allows me to keep the logo okay no it doesn't allow me to keep the logo but it basically you can just create a shortcut create a desktop shortcut from this and that will just run your normal FOSE uh, fallout and that's basically how you do that um, hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out I'm bringing you guys a brand new tutorial on how to fix freezing and crashing in Fallout 3 basically why I'm doing that is because the last uh, version did not help everyone hopefully this one does help everyone uh, it should um, but anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want to see more, and if you want to see like Fallout mods and such, go check out my channel. I'm going to be uploading a lot of Fallout and Skyrim mods on my channel pretty soon here. So anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.